and Tangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! Upon Earth's turf a saucer did land, aliens disembarked, a curious band. With tentacles and eyes they looked all around, but Earth's total chaos had left them unwound. They scratched at their heads, most definitely confused, to learn humans were monsters and prone to abuse. Their cities were wastelands and their cultures were bones. They spent their free time taking selfies on phones. So back to the saucer they swiftly returned. Their interest in Earth had quickly adjourned. With a whoosh and a zoom they took to the stars. Goodbye Earth, they waved. We're returning to Mars. That would be the worst poem I have ever heard. Oh, I've read your poetry. It's not much better. I also anticipated your snide response as well. Take a listen to this, dear viewer. In America, I find my cheer, but oh, I miss that German beer. The loggers here just don't come near to what I knew back home, that's clear. How dare you peruse my journal? Twasn't me. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. With me is my lovely and troublesome charge, the devilish Miss Tangella. And the protesting beer poet to your left would be my butler Livingston, whose talent and knowledge on matters of running a household far outweighs his ability to inscribe poetic prose. And do we have a fantastic program in store for you. First off film, tonight's feature presentation will be the iconic Earth vs. the Flying Saucers from 1956. This film, directed by Fred Sears, takes us on an electrifying journey where Earth faces an otherworldly invasion by mysterious flying saucers. With groundbreaking special effects that were cutting edge for its day and a suspenseful storyline, this is a cinematic gem that has stood the test of time. And joining us to watch this classic will be none other than the legendary Dr. Dredd, also known as Gary Himmelfarb. He's the reggae music maestro who founded RAS Records, a label that brought the soulful rhythms of reggae to the world stage. With a career spanning decades, Dr. Dredd has been a driving force behind the reggae movement, introducing us to iconic artists such as Black Uhuru, Yellow Man, and Gregory Isaacs. He'll tell us about his storied career, give us his take on tonight's film, and let us know about what he might be up to next. So don't go away! For this to be another night of alien invasion delight, right here on Creature Features. And where might you be off to? I'm calling the locksmith to change the lock on my door. Interesting. Won't do him much good. She climbs through his window. Stay tuned. Oh my goodness, Dr. Dredd, if people switch to Channel 7 right now, they could watch Operation Petticoat, which I suppose is a, is a film with petticoats. Well, why would, why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. You know, yeah. we have to suggest these things to others because, you know, we want to be like open-minded. 
right? Mm. No. Okay. All right. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to the show and welcome you to our show. It's going to be a fun one. We've got Dr. Dread and we've got Earth versus the Flying Saucers. What do you think of this film? I think it's great. It's scary. I love it's it. It's the 50s. I bet and you were like a tiny boy when this came out. I was born in 54. Right. So yeah. this movie was 1956. Yeah. So you were two years old. Is there any chance your parents took you to the cinema to see this film? The only thing I remember early in my childhood is my parents had me watch Psycho. Oh. I was terrified after that shower right. scene. Yes. How could parents let a young boy watch Psycho? Well, I think you turned out fine, right? Eventually. Right. You yeah. recovered. Yeah. Recovered. Yeah. All right. Dr. Trent, you are infamous, famous. You are beyond all of this for bringing reggae into our lives, right? Yeah. I, uh, I took on the name Dr. Dredd when I became a... Uh, radio disc jockey oh nice i hosted a show in washington dc and it was called and this is for real night of the living dread that's brilliant what year would this have been this would have been in 1979 till so about 10 81. years after night of the living dead came out really right okay right yeah well, no no yeah. it was perfect Night yeah. of the Living Dread. Yeah, I, I love sharing reggae music with people. Right. That's what I love doing still to this day. Now, in 1979, there wasn't much on the radio, was there? No. Right. No, it was cool. Watching Maybe a little Bob Marley. Yeah. And that's about it, right? Yeah, people knew Bob Marley, but I got so into Jamaican music, Jamaican culture, I went to Jamaica in 77. Oh, would that be required, right? Yeah, and I just became obsessed with the country and the people and the music and the vibes. And I just had to, I knew this is what I had to do right. with my life. Nice. Now, what's the flight time from New York to Jamaica? It's about four hours. That's it's that long? Yeah, I thought it was like right okay. there. Well, that's by airplane. Right. You know, if you wanted to fly on a pterodactyl, Oh, it might take a little longer. That'd be the way to go, would it I not? I mean, I did it once. Right. It took right. a while. Now, pterodactyls are not FAA approved, I understand. That's why they right. quit right. that service, you know? That's right. That's yeah. right. All right. We're going to watch Earth vs. the Flying Saucers, and when we come back, you've got all kinds of cool things to show us, right? I look forward to it. All right. Off we go. Earth vs. the Flying Saucers. Don't you dare tune to that Operation Petticoat movie because this is going to be better, right? Yeah. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, the toddy, mm. slightly toddy. That's all right, though, because it's a, it's a laid back Jamaican night, right? It's cool, man. There's no timetable. It's cool, man. That's right. And speaking of cool man, we are with a cool man named Dr. Dredd, whose actual name is Gary Himmelfarb. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Perfect. What kind of bloody name is that? I mean, we have no Gary's. Very few Garys in, in the UK. Wait, is that short for something like Gerald? You gotta be kidding. Are you, no, are you, Gary, it's an American name. Gary. Gary. I, I, my parents gave me that name. Well, I would hope they did, but yeah. wait, what is it short for? It must be short for something else, right? Gerald? I, I, Garamond? I, I honestly, truthfully, do not know. Gallows? Is it? I, I don't know. I'd like to. Somebody, somebody will write in, I bet, on the YouTube comments and inform us on what the long version of Gary is. Wow. Now, I'd like to know that myself. I think I shall call you Mr. Himmelfarb instead. 
Yeah. Well, Himmelfarb. Dr. Tread, you're Dr. Tread. I am, but see, Himmelfarb in German means heavenly color. And oh, nice. I did not want Jamaicans to try to, to say Gary Himmelfarb. So when I became a radio disc jockey, I literally became Dr. Dredd. Nice. So where did you get your doctorate? Um, at the University of Life. I like it. Yeah. No, that's the best place to get one. I never went it to a day not, of college. Does not require eight years. No. No. And five hundred thousand dollars. No, I went to music college, and it's the same. It's like you never went to college. But didn't you learn a lot? Oh, I learned quite a bit, but it, it will do me no good if I try to find a like proper line of work. Yeah, right? but you learn about life, music. That's right. It's the universal language. It is, oddly. I love it. Right. What's this book I got? Well, this is my memoir, and it's called The Half That's Never Been Told. Oh. And, and I, that's you. That's me on the front cover. And who's this handsome bloke? That is Gregory Isaacs, one of Jamaica's most famous singers. And I decided the first chapter would be about Gregory because at 3 a.m. in the recording studio in Kingston, Jamaica, Gregory Isaacs pulled a gun on me. Why in God's name would he do that? Well, he said, Dr. Dredd, you make enough money and me no get so much. So what's going on, Dr. So Dredd? not only did he pull a gun on you, he tr attempted to rob you. He was, he was pretty wasted at the time. Oh, so it was, it was all in jest. No, no, but he, uh, fortunately, the gun didn't go off by accident. Let's put it that way. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, and I kind of kept I that been story to talking, myself. Chatting with a corpse tonight. Right? Right. No, so, yeah. Somebody that Tangella pulled out of the, the cemetery. It right? could have been that way. Right. No, that, that would I'm have here. been one of the most boring interviews I've ever done. With a corpse? Right. No, I've, I, I've, I almost did one once, and I didn't. You know, Tom Sizemore was dead. I interviewed him. Yeah? Yes. Right. Yeah. He was quite a nice guy, but now he's dead, so I cannot interview him anymore, or at least not properly. Oh, you did it prior to his death? Yes. Okay. Well, I think so. That makes no, sense. He, he wasn't dead yet, right? No, he wasn't dead yet. So this is wonderful. Here's pictures of you with Bob Marley. Yeah, I met Bob. Right. You know, that was quite an experience. His energy filled a room like you wouldn't believe. And I met other great artists that I'll tell you about a this little later incredible. when we come back. Incredible. All yeah. right. Good, good. So good we should life. get back to that film. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Off we go to Earth versus the Flying Saucers. So far, it's just been Flying Saucers versus the Earth so far. The Who's going to win? The Earth, you know, the Earth has to win. Got to. Right, right. Yeah. All right. Off we go. We'll see you on the other side of the break. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. My goodness, Tangela, vacuum pants. No, 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 not, they're for you, they're for women, look. Vacuum pants. I've never seen these before. Listen to this. Guaranteed to reduce your waist, abdomen, hips, and thighs a total of 9 to 15 inches in just three days or your money refunded. You know, I need a pair of these as well. Indeed. Right. I, I don't see a website, though. I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, you've got to do it the old school style with a stomp through the post. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, Mr. Gary, Dr. Dredd stepped away for a moment, but uh, we're going to do some mail while he's gone, right? We have to. It's the law. It's the law that Livingston has ordained that we should do it. What do you got for me, sir? Phoenix, Arizona. A pink envelope from Phoenix, Arizona from Tom McRitchie. You suppose he's Scottish or Irish? He's a Mac. He's probably Scottish. Is that it? All right. Is that all we got in there? Let's see. It says, Dear Creature Features, I like when you dance Tangella. Tangella, I would like you to get me that book, The Call of Chuluthu. I like it when you go visit the store, Word Hoard. I would like you to visit a flea market. You go to flea markets all the time. She gets tools and weapons. I also would like you to invite my friend Janice Carmen as a guest on your show. I would like you guys to add the show Forbidden Play. And boy, this man's got a list. Lots of demands. Oh, he does. No, they're good. Uh, uh, let's see. Creature Features. It would also be great if you could do that. Another good movie would be the movie Jim and the Holograms from 1985. Never heard of that one. Another movie I would like to see is Cool World. Also, the movie Night of the Lepus. The Iron Giant is also a great one. Also, I'd like to see Fire in the Sky. My goodness. Oh, you know, he thinks we've got a big budget, I, I believe. I think he wants a lot. Right. Uh, also, I would like to see uh, Starship Troopers. Can you also show Mars Attacks? Tangella, do you like biscuits? And gravy? Why do you always spank Andrew? I wouldn't say she spanks him. She beats him mercilessly. She beats right? him mercilessly. Right, right. Uh, may I have Mrs. O'Connor's autograph, please? Well, that's a first. Mrs. O'Connor? What would she autograph? We've never done a photo with her, have we? No, we haven't. I suppose we have to do a photo with uh, Mrs. O'Connor so she can autograph it. Uh, uh, also, do you like fish and chips and chicken fried steak as well? Sincerely, Jay McRitchie. You know, I'm starting to think this is a young child, man. Seems like a young right. person. No, it's like he's writing to Santa Claus asking for requests. Uh, you know, the most reasonable thing you ask for is a photo of uh, Miss O'Connor. We'll see what we could do there. As far as the rest goes, those are expensive movies, and I don't think we can afford them, can well, we? she's still rather new and on probation, so to speak. Oh, so you're saying she might be gone. This one from What's Oakdale, this? California. From whom? Rosalene Medlock. Rosalane. That's a nice name. It's interesting. This is, oh my goodness. I was expecting a VHS tape. But it's a baggie. Only you would expect that. What's the name? The old man who watches a Zenith television. Oh, good Lord. This is just full of surprises. You need to take Thank this. You. And I shall take the letter and read it aloud as you hold up some of those items. Here we go. Hello to the wonderful and funny Vincent, to the handsome and charming Mr. Livingston. Handsome, maybe, but charming. Spend a few minutes with him. You'll find he's a bit droll and gruff. That's, that's the word for you, gruff. As a butler should be. That's going to be your nickname, Mr. Livingston Gruff. Uh, and the adorable and scary Tangella, and to the rest of the others in that amazing mansion. I am 71 years old and disabled, so I watch a lot of TV and movies. I love the letters and gifts on your show. Here's some handmade jewelry by me. Look at this. Oh my goodness, she's mm, all no, adored no. now. Uh, some of the jewelry is pink for cancer awareness. My daughter and step-grandson beat cancer a few times each. Well, that is wonderful news. I pray forever. Some of the jewelry is made up with feng shui beads. Green equals wood, black equals earth, yellow equals metal, and red equals fire. They repel bad luck and negative energy. Enjoy. You know, I, I think the rest of the members of the household should be wearing that to prevent bad luck from her. Indeed. I could be wrong. Especially Handrel. 
Uh, God bless uh, Rosaline Faye Medlock from Oakdale, California, a rodeo town. Well, God bless you as, as well, Rosaline, and uh, I hope everything gets better for you. Yeah, she can't spend too much time in front of the TV. She's making wonderful jewelry. She needs mm. to open a store. Right? Perhaps she can do both at once. No, I don't know. It's difficult to open a store while you're watching television. Last letter? From Wisconsin. Wisconsin. You know, they should call it Wisconsin. Why? Because people there can make wishes. I think they can do that anyway. Send them to us as a paper clip and a check. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we've hit pay dirt. Look at this. It's... I'm going to show this to you before I announce it to the rest. Oh, dear. Oh, see, you even got a smile on his face. Uh, John Weiss. Uh, all right, so he goes, Dear Creature Features, uh, Vincent Livingston and Tangella, I'm ecstatic I found your show on YouTube. I now watch Creature Features every day. Is that a good thing? Perhaps. I mean, I know it's good for us, but is it good for him? I don't know. You should no. take a break occasionally. All right. Well, he took a break to write this letter. Uh, things do come up that pull me away from your show. Please tell Je Tangella that I did subscribe to Creature Features, a uh, YouTube channel, as well as becoming a Creature Features patron. I even liked on Facebook. Hopefully, that will make her happy and not sulk as much. She's all smiles. Uh, the three of you put on an awesome show and make it entertaining. To our host, Vincent, although you sometimes get your movie introductions mixed up with other movie titles. I do do that, don't I? No, it's more with the stars. The stars' names confuse me because they all have similar names. They do. Right. Uh, some of your facts are off the wall. You're an awesome host and keep things rolling. I love your style. I love yours too, sir. What can I say about Mr. Livingston? I'll tell you what you could say about Mr. Livingston, but I won't say it on the air. You do have your hands full with that, uh, what goes on in the Haunted Mansion, but you keep things from getting too chaotic, especially with all the antics happening from, well, you know who. You don't have to tell me about it. Right. Keep that sense of humor. Of course, Tangela, I better not forget you if I value my health. Tangela is the mistress of mischief, the loveliness of antics. You are delightful and scary at the same time. You never know when or where she's going to strike next. This is true. To show my appreciation, I've enclosed a check for $1,000. It's right here. Actual check. Uh, to help with bringing your fans the movies we all love and enjoy. Keep up the great work. John Weiss from Reedsburg, Wisconsin. You know, it's coincidental that we got a nice check like this after that huge request of movies from the lad in uh, Arizona. It is quite coincidental. Right, it's serendipitous. All right, well, thank you so much for the wonderful gift, John, and we hope things are well in Reedsburg. I've never been there. Have you? No. All right, is that it for letters? That's it. That is it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own, go to hellocreaturefeatures.com at that place. There's a, a place to explain how to send us an email, how to send us a regular box of gifts, or if you'd like, send us a check for $1,000. Right? If they so are so inclined. One would hope. Anyway, so let's get back to Earth versus the Flying Saucer, and when we return, we'll be joined by Dr. Dredd. Don't go away. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear that I have been tasked yet again to deliver another plea intended to separate you from your hard-earned money. This program now has its own channel and associated apps that allow you to watch the entire Creature Features library and much more. Entitled Creature Features TV, this is a system that works much like Netflix or Hulu. Besides early access to all the new Creature Features episodes, You'll also have access to many other offerings and some archival episodes of the original show with Mr. Bob Wilkins. You'll also have exclusive access to a new Creature Feature show that will be introduced soon and will not be available anywhere else. Your generous but modest monthly subscription fee 
will also greatly assist in the continued production of the show, so there's that as well. Miss Tangela has asked me to inform you that if you subscribe to Creature Features TV, she will be sure to create more dancing videos just for you. I think not. So please visit www.creaturefeaturestv.com to learn more. Thank you for your time. Welcome back to Creature Features. I am with Dr. Trent, who's like the biggest reggae distributor in the world, right? I have the largest reggae label, largest reggae distribution company in the entire world. Think of that. That's, no, that's, that's like bigger than Capitol Records, right? Well, in a way, but for me, what's so important is my passion and true love was creating and producing reggae music. And that's what I've got to do for my whole life. And not only did he do that, he plays the bloody theremin. Ooh. Ooh. They're using a lot of theremin in this film. It's cool, isn't it? Every UFO flying saucer film must have a theremin. I believe this is some type of law. Well, right? I think it's rather serendipitous. And you've already used that word right, tonight. Right. Sorry for That's all right. doing it again. No, it's it, a good word that could be used more than once. Isn't it? Right. And I think that maybe is one of the reasons we've been brought together tonight. So how does one get into the theremin? Well, it's more like the theremin gets into you. Oh. So I bought the finest 1929 authentic theremin from a museum auction in Florida and I knew I could make these strange sounds. It's the only instrument that you play without touching right. through the disruption of magnetic fields. Right. So I started studying magnetic fields, the axis of the earth. Think about it. We're spinning on an axis and got so deep into creating these eerie sounds that I combined with dub reggae music. Intriguing. And it's called Theremin and Dub. It's the only album Dr. Dredd will ever release. My goodness. It's so And out you play there. the theremin. I play the theremin on every song without How touching fun. it, creating these eerie right. vibes. Right. Yeah. That's incredible. What's this? Well, have you heard of this guy named Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan, I've heard his name more than once. Okay. I see your name on here. Isn't that crazy? His name is on the front cover of Bob Dylan Joker Man. When did this come out? It came out about three years ago. Three years ago? Yeah. It's are you, recent. Are you playing the theremin on this one? I actually did play theremin on the song I and I, and my head comes off of my body attached to a corkscrew and starts orbiting the planet of Jupiter. This would be in the video. That's in the video. All right. Because I, I thought I. your head actually came off like a corkscrew as you were playing with Bob Dylan. And that would be not a wonderful way to... It's back on, play. though. It's everything. No, it looks good. It's it looks intact. Good. All right. I'm getting the signal. we got to get back to this film. What do you say we get back to Earth versus the Flying Saucers? And when we come back, you've got more stuff to show us, right? I do. All right, off we go. See you soon. Hi, Teresa Sanders, living in Salem, Massachusetts. Love the movies, but please put less commercials on because you get right into the movie and all of a sudden here comes the commercial. Thank you. Love watching the shows on your station.
Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Tell me, Dr. Dredd, who does your hair, and what does it look like? Um, no one does my hair, because I don't have any. Oh, you've got hair. Not much. All right, well, I was going to ask you where you get your <laughs> hair done, but I, I suppose I'll stick with what I've got. Welcome back to the show. We're with Dr. Dredd, a.k.a. Gary Himmelfarb, who is uh, the master of reggae music. Yeah, I've had a lot of great things happen. I... I had a band called Inner Circle, and they had this song called Bad Boys, Bad Boys, What You Gonna Do? No. Oh, yeah, and I got a you call. You did that song? Yeah. I got a call one day from this show called Cops. I know this and program. And they said, can we use that song, Bad Boys, Bad Boys, What You Gonna Do? And I went, sure. And Send the rest me your big history. fat check. Oh, right. my God. If you knew how much money's come into oh, that song. And the, right. I was just in Florida with those guys having dinner literally two nights ago. Oh, my goodness. And they goodness. have a beautiful recording studio where all these great artists come and record music, and we're still best of friends. Intriguing. You know, speaking of studios, this film that we're watching, Earth vs. the Flying Saucers, the voice of the alien is Paul Fries. Hmm. Do you know this bloke? I don't know him. So, did you ever watch Bullwinkle? Of course, when I was a kid, I well, came into Of course, into when the, you were a kid. Well, I came into the house and declared to my family, I am Rocky. And Rocky was my nickname right. for my whole life. Nice. So, the announcer on that show was Paul Fries. You know the voice? It's, of course. I, I, I wish I could impersonate him, but I cannot, so... What are these items you've brought onto my table here? Well, oddly enough, somehow I have ended up owning an antique store in Calistoga, California. I know a thing or two about antiques. You do? I do. I believe you. This is an antique. Look. <laughs> That's right. true. Yeah. yeah. The chair you're sitting in is an antique. This yeah, table is an yeah. antique. This entire home is an antique. It's beautiful. Right. I feel right at home here. But I have Back. nothing like this. What is this? That's a dangerous shark. It's a heavy shark. Now, this is, what do they call this? The big mouth shark? Yeah, that, that's right? a dangerous shark. You don't want to get bit by him. No. So it somewhat matches my that's, look at that. Tyrannosaurus You know, there's more serendipity going on here than right. I yeah. was prepared They're both for. prehistoric animals. True. Right, right. Yeah. Now, what about this? What's this, this? This is a Tibetan prayer wheel. That when you need to kind of get in tune with the universe... You just meditate and spin this, and it's very ancient and very old. And these are the kind of things that you find at Rags to Riches, my antique store in Calistoga. In Calistoga. Yeah. yeah. Cal Calistoga is not far from here. It's what? Well, it's hour about drive? an hour, you right. know, from Over Bodega to up right, there. Right, yeah. right. So that how far. would one use this? Do you pray and then spin the wheel and see your fortune, or do you... Spin it first and then pray that you land on three aces. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how this particular item works. Well, it all, it's all up to the individual. Oh. For me, I just connect to the universe as I spin it. And then things come back into focus and I become at peace again. Nice. So it's an, it's an interpretive 
type of thing. It is. Right. But how, would, however it works for you. All right. Well, I think it'll work for me if we get back to this film, Earth versus the Flying Saucers. And uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to learn more, right? Of course. All right. Off we go. Don't go away. Next part gets better. Maybe. Welcome back to Creature Features. Welcome back to Creature. You know, that needs to be a reggae version of that. I uh, don't think so. No? All no. right. All Forget right. It. So they're attacking Washington. What? Why on God's name would, would aliens attack Washington? Well, obviously, because it's full of politicians. Oh, I yeah. hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Right. No, that's a good reason. Come on. Right, right. That's the first place they should attack. Agreed. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, good movie, and uh, we're, we're going to wrap that up in a moment. But first, you brought this portrait. You literally pulled this off your wall. I did. To bring here today I with did. us. And I this did. is this is Gary, yeah. a.k.a. Dr. Dread. And it, this is Bob Marley. That's right. Right? And then who are all these other happy people? They're just a bunch of happy Jamaican people. Happy Jamaican people. Yeah. Very nice. That's who oh, they this are. This is wonderful. Well, and what's he signing? He had an album come out, and this is in Washington, D.C., before it was attacked by the alien oh, ships. That's important. It's before. Right. So everything was okay up to right. this point. Right. And so Bob and I got to talk, and he signed me some autographs, and his presence filled the entire room. And, you know, I strongly suggest people listen to his music and listen to his message. No, he was he was definitely one of a kind. He, he's not been matched, has he? No, and it's what got me into reggae music when I first heard Bob in 1973. Right. You know, I became totally absorbed with reggae and a desire to go to Jamaica and get to know the people there. Tell me this. Was his hair real? Is yours? Yes. My okay. hair is real. But Good. the reason why I ask is because people are always asking Tangela's if Tangelo's hair is real. Oh. And you'll see a similarity True. when we come, True. when she comes out. His hair is very real. Those very are the lion's manes. Lion's manes, they right. Are. Yes. Yeah. No, that's what I'm going to call Tangelo from now on, the lion's manes, because <laughs> she probably stole them <laughs> from a lion. All right, what do you say we wrap up this film, and when we come back, we're going to find out what you, Dr. Dredd, are doing next. Sounds good to me. All right, off All we right. go to the end of Earth versus the Flying Saucers. You don't want to miss the end because it's the end of the movie. It'd be silly if you watched the entire film and didn't see the end. We'll see you soon. And so ends Earth versus the Flying Saucers. That was the most ridiculous weapon I've ever seen. 
It worked. No, it looked like a large strainer device when places in their kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah, but it worked. Well, I suppose that's all that worked. matters, right? What do you think of the film? She doesn't like the alien movies. No. Yeah, there's not enough blood and guts in them for her. That's, yeah, that's I her can thing. see that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, what's next for Dr. Dredd? Well, I'm working on an exciting new record in Jamaica where I'm combining reggae with western swing i'm adding accordions fiddles and pedal steel to reggae it's never been done accordions have never been used in never reggae? wow nope. and it's with a great singer from a band called asleep at the wheel and we've been having a blast willie nelson's on the record it's really wow. been fun fantastic yeah. well yeah. you know with those instruments you've you've Added. It sounds like it's going to be that, uh, what's that Louisiana music that... Uh, Zydeco. Zydeco. It's going to sound like Zydeco, is it not? It might. We'll see what happens. That but it's an fun. exciting project. I love creating and I love recording music in a studio. When there was nothing, all of a sudden, music's right. created. It's magic. And it stacks up like layers it's magic. and soon becomes symphonic but and you're going to add a theremin, I hope. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no, you should. He's pretty good, I hear. She wants to learn it as well. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on the show and taking time out of your album to come watch this silly film with us. And next time you're in town, you promise to come by, right? Yeah, I've had a great time being here with you in a really cool movie. Are you, he's being sarcastic, I think. Maybe. Anyways, thank you for coming. And as far as you guys go, thank you for staying up and watching us instead of Operation Petticoat. You know, she was watching parts of Operation Petticoat, but they did not. They stuck with us, and that's why we love you and her not so much. Sometimes. We all love her. See you next week. Different movie, different guests. Have fun. So, uh, Gary, Dr. Dredd, you know, reggae music uses a lot of organ, right? Uh, you know, and I, I play the pipe organ. Do you think there's any chance that you might uh, use me on this album? I've heard you play, and uh, I really don't see that happening.